Sunday, the 27th of December. How is everybody doing? Just chilling in, in the garage. Got the uh, TV on. You know. Ignoring it. Actually just taking in the quietness right now. Collecting my thoughts. Soup coolers. Mm. So, some of y'all may be wondering, was I going to put an end of the year video out for 2020? And I will. Because there's a lot of things I want to say. But I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse. But as a collective energy, there's things I want to manifest. So, this morning while I was sitting out here, just, you can probably hear the herd, you can hear the birds um, chirping, you can hear the breeze. And this is all a blessing. Don't get it. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, because I didn't have to wake up here. But you know, everything happens divinely. I was gonna need to wake, but haven't motivated myself to do so because I've been running on all cylinders all week. Like a lot of y'all, you know, we negotiated Christmas. And I hope, first and foremost, how was your Christmas? How was it? I hope that the greatest gift that you received on that day was peace of mind. Because you know, you can't put a price on joy. Because that's found within yourself. And unfortunately, we live in a world where there are those. They speak it, but they do not possess it. And that's unfortunate. Because you had a lot of people that materialistically were very abundant. But they would give all that away just for a smile. Just for understanding. Just for closure. Or clarity. See, those are the things that can't be bought. Those are the things that we need individually as well. So, you know, to be sitting here right now, this moment. Enjoying the serenity of... To just be able to sit down. Because, you know, you have a lot of people. What they wanted was peace. What they wanted, they didn't get. And what they thought, unfortunately, there was a bait and switch going on. But I'm not trying to kick the basket because we got to stay prayed up. We got to stay focused. We got to do our part. Because the one thing that I also came to understand, you know how for a long time, and you've seen this through social media, you know, everybody nowadays you hear them saying, you know, they say, stay prayed up. Well, guess what? Not that, it, not that that matters, but I know where that came from. It came from here. By way of here. From there. So, the energy you put out is the energy you will receive. And you have to respect it. You know, not all things that you need will be made visible on your timeline. 
because it's not ours. But we're taught through our life to respect what is being shown in the ethers. Some of y'all will understand because it requires life, life experience to actually dial in through experience. So the thought that crossed my mind as I was making my coffee, cheers, was how easy it is to use certain terminologies such as manifest, speak into existence. But yet, we, meaning humankind, overlook the small things that require us to be done for it to come into fruition. The action part. You know, it's not like, you know, a storybook, plant magic beans and give it some time even though that's an analogy anyway. But the one thing that caused me to ponder was, why is it the same energy that is being used in negative behavior is not the same energy positive why is it so hard you do understand some of your greatest actions will not be made public don't require an, an audience directly but indirectly it will be felt because it will be measured because it is ingrained in you already but I kept finding myself analyzing why so much of the time spent in disrespect in animosity in fear in loathing in distrust. We can't take just 10% effort and put it positive. Why? Why don't we do that as human beings? I mean, it seems like in a negative contentational position, if it doesn't have the bang, pop, zoom effect, it is not acknowledged as if it doesn't occur. Okay, well, let me put this in a better context so you may understand. There's no bang, zoom, pop when it comes to you breathing, but you rely on it now, don't you? There's no bang, pop, zoom when it comes to self-analyzing, self-assessment, but it's required. Who am I talking to? I used to always echo, as I am right now, and I'm not trying to put the cart in front of the horse, but Family, do not allow 2021 to be the mirror or reflection of 2020. Who am I talking to? Because if you do, that is nothing but spiritual servitude. Just got my validation. Just saw a butterfly just fly by. So I know I'm I'm talking to somebody. You know, I used to always 
give props to author Robert Frost because he made, he created a poem. He wrote a poem called The Road Less Traveled. But you know, as beautiful as that poem is about, it's not until the application of the words transcribed on paper when it's applied to you within. Who am I talking to? That's just like watching a movie that was created in black and white and you apply the contrast and context in 4K. It will blow your mind, which should be the same energy when it comes to your life. Now, guess what? The responsibility for your life, if you so choose to embrace it, you're going to know what heaven sin is all about. You're going to know what manifestation and manifesting feels like. Because your life will be made new. Who am I talking to? Let that sit in your spirit right now. Just, just let that sit there for a second. Now, not to sound bleak, to have change, you must accept transformation. Did you hear me? Let me help you out because I know you're not hearing me. You know what? Having spiritual gifts unclaimed really is a life that's not lived. And here's the stark reality of it all too, family. There are people that walk among you. There are people to have your bloodline. There are people that you don't even know hoping that you don't. Now listen. We have no control what someone does being reactionary and how that's displayed. But what we do have is how we interpret it and how we react. Who am I talking to? If you don't like the examples that have been visualized in your life, first of all, you got to acknowledge that they're there. Acknowledge it. Which means you must be truthful with your life. Second, you must look at it from the perspective of who has access to your life. Third, being that they have access to your life, how do they contribute to your life? Now, you can't accept or demand to live a life of someone that is selfish because that does attract what you don't want. That's why you see constant examples of people that are in relationships where on the outside they have everything that you could want on this earth. But what they need is heaven sent. And that's found within yourself. That's why the propaganda of you 
seeing so many of our young queens saying they choose security, financial security, then emotional security. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because the same scenario happens when you have someone that is established a, a certain goal and they think that if I have these variables, it is going to unlock this outcome. And they're more, they're more miserable than they began. Well, if I connect myself with this certain group, it'll give me this outcome. But if you can't relate to why the journey was accepted to begin with, what do you got to talk about? What do they have that you need? Because there's a lot of people doing emotional and physical servitude and they call it a relationship too. Who am I talking to? That's not your story. That is just nothing but a footnote. And really will show you your strength. Because that will give you knowledge. Not only of self. But also of control. It will manifest. That's why you always see scenarios where, unfortunately... The illustration is you have the man that is financially in a position where he can manifest certain things, right? Certain imagery. And on the outside, he's got the he's got the girl, he's got the house, he's got the car. But there's no love in there. The honeymoon phase dissolves just as quick as the first hold up, a first hello. I know I'm ruffling some feathers because society wants you queens to continue the path you're on. Why? Because you're making them money. They're playing on your insecurities too, because they're telling you. That this is what the image of woman should be. You got to fit this certain box. I had a segue there, but I'm going to leave that alone. You don't never see it where the spotlight should be on the core person. If she don't have a social media analog algorithm, she's less than. Really? Really that's what they want? No, at the end of the day is, can you make me money? And there are plenty of people that will sell those, they will pretty much sell their souls for emotional No, I'll take that back. Thinking that finances is all that's required. But even Biggie Small said, more money, more problems. There's nothing wrong with success, family. Please believe there's nothing wrong. Hard work does pay off. But if you don't have the peace of mind to go with it, that's like somebody preparing your favorite meal the way you want it with all the trimmings. And you can't enjoy the flavor. That's all I'm saying. I ain't trying to get on this tangent. So. I'm excited for 21. Because some of us. It's another day. You already know what you got to do. You have to stay the course. And unfortunately. 
they're going to be those. They're going to fall right off you. It's like lint to a brush. They're going to fall right off you because the said payoff that they were looking for, the said resource emotionally that they were expecting, when they realize that you have embraced you, they're going to be like gremlins running from the light. Don't take it personal. That's transformation within. And guess what? That also makes room for those who are divinely meant to know your story. That are divinely going to unconditionally love you. You will see it in their actions because the same actions is the example that they live. Who am I talking to? We spend time to watch the versus battle, but the greatest versus that you will ever embrace is your life. Let that sink in. I love each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a blessed week. We're getting ready to finally turn this page for called, called 2020. And I will put a video out New Year's Eve. Because for some of you who have been with me, y'all remember. My, my 2020 started off in an emergency room. Laid up on a gurney with a heart monitor going. IVs going. Wondering if I was going to bring in the new year. It was also the same moment that I truly understood that. Potentially, I may have a son that I never knew. And as I, I know y'all like, well, whatever happened to that? Backstory on that. I have yet to communicate with him. I have communicated with him um, through social media. He has yet to respond. But I believe in my spirit. He reads everything that I've sent. And he has a way to communicate with me because I've made sure I put all my pertinent information but I also know that there's a responsibility that must be uh, mandated. I did do the DNA. And this is how I know the devil's work's never done. I had to wait nine weeks to turn around for them to send me a message saying there was an accident with my sample. So they sent me another test. I have it. It's on my coffee table. I plan to do it and submit it in two weeks. And I really believe they're possibly there just because it's going to open up another perspective of not only who I am historically, you can only put but so much effort when it comes to science, but it's a start. And the only reason I'm doing it is because the fact that I want to ensure that if by chance I have children that I do not know about, they can say he tried. Because that's what a man does. Because nobody's promised tomorrow, family. Every day, come on. Just like this, someone's going to go to sleep tonight and not going to wake up in the morning. So I want to make sure that my work is done. And as long as I put God first in everything I do, I'm okay. And the beautiful thing about social media is if and when the time is right, when the fear is gone, they can look at everything that I put out there and hear the words that come from my mouth and know, yes, you were loved 
Yes, I turned every stone. Because if you are from me, you have a right to know your history. And that is my responsibility as a man. So I'm okay. Because I had people ask, well, what if they don't want to have a relationship? Well, guess what? You can't make nobody do what they don't feel. But what I can do is be forthright. I've always been transparent. Transparent. And the one thing that can never be used is, well, he, you know, they always blame it on, you know, there's always some, some factor. Well, if we only knew this, well, guess what? I want you to know. I need to know. Because that's one of the things that when I lay my head at night, I sleep with no regrets. No fear. None. Because I tried to live right. That's all you can do. So it can never be said, well, you know, he didn't want to have nothing to do with you. Well, guess what? My actions show it. I leave these little spiritual breadcrumbs so that they can be found. And hopefully... It won't be too late. Because guess what you can't do? You ask those folks that wish they could have five minutes with a loved one that genuinely loved them. The biggest thing they have to, that they have to juggle with is because they did not seize the moment of time. And that's the biggest problem with our, with our society. Pride has destroyed, has tattered, has fragmented so many historical lives through the ethers of time. So, at the end of the day, do you know who you are? Because if you did, the reflection that you see looking back, you would already know that is perfect. Let that sink in. It only becomes an issue when you allow man to tell you that you ain't. That's where insecurity comes into play. Start loving yourself more. Queens, you don't need a man to tell you that. Kings, you don't need a woman to tell you that. It starts within yourself first. And, and, and let's be 100, and I'm going I'm to wrap this up. Don't think about being in a relationship until you have decided to have a relationship with yourself first. Don't do it. You're going to waste a lot of money. You're gonna waste a lot of emotions, and you and it's not gonna it's not gonna produce what you want. Them fruit, them spiritual fruits, are bad. That's why soul ties exist. Devil's work's never done. Come on now. Devil will give you everything you want, but peace of mind. Oh, you want a man? You keep saying you want a man? Then a man comes in your life and he abuses you. Oh, you want a queen? You keep saying you want a queen? And physically to the eye, she can stop traffic. But she does not have the tools to protect your heart. And you're wondering why it's toxic. It starts with yourself. Now, I didn't said enough for now. I love each and every one of you. God's praying for you. You know I am. I see your worth. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern mine. See, listen. If it's not divinely blessed, 
You can't get access to it. You can't fake it. You can't con your way to keep it. No. All that does is usher more pain. So, I hope when you went under your Christmas tree, under there you found your smile. You found your self-worth, even if that means you got to stand by yourself. Don't worry, once the work is done, you won't be by yourself alone. And trust and believe, those people that genuinely want nothing but your happiness, they're praying over you. Even if they know y'all will never see each other again. Because that's what love is. They want you to win. But that won't come into fruition until you decide to claim it first. By standing on your foundation. Rolling up your sleeve. Taking accountability. Not only of where you are. But where you came from. Acknowledge where you came from. So you can have clarity to where you're going. And don't worry. All those people that said. You won't. You can't. Why are you acting that way? You know why they tell you that? Because they don't have it within themselves. Otherwise they'd be there waiting on you too. Misery. is like an endless table. With countless seats. Waiting for you to sit down. Because when you sit down. You're not a threat. And you're stopped. Your life is stopped. That's what you call a block. So free yourself. Free that beautiful smile. Why aren't you smiling? Why do you have to get validation from them? Why? You want validation? Look at the example that they set. When was the last time they talked about their spirituality? Or do you really know that is not a conversation that you're going to have? So, if you already know that, why is that, a, why is that an environment that you find sanctity to be in when the only thing that is there is disappointment? Disappointment. Anyway, let me stop. You guys have a blessed week. Like I said, I'll be on here New Year's Eve. Um, we're going to bring in the New Year right. Stay blessed. Have a safe week.